In this class we will learn how to parameterize a part in SOLIDWORKS, remembering that parameterization involves several steps, for example, renaming dimensionals and resources. In this class we will use a predefined part file available for download, where we have a sketch created and the goal is to model a parameterized pulley. See the profile you've drawn and note that it already has dimensions added. Also note the references used. The sketch is sized so that it is symmetrical, and symmetry reference features have also been used. Now let's rename a few more dimensions, but before that, since the sketch is too polluted visually, Let's hide the indications of the references. For this, in the view menu, hide slash show we uncheck the sketch relations option, and then we have a cleaner graphic area to continue modeling. By selecting some dimensions we see that they are already renamed, but others are not, and to speed up the identification of dimensions, we will leave their names visible. We access the menu view, hide slash show and check the option shown. Now we rename the dimensions that are essential for the pulley design intent and are not yet renamed, which are, wall thickness. Top thickness, channel thickness, and channel depth. The other dimensions we keep as they are at the moment. With the sketch set, we use the revolution feature and we have the pulley created. To facilitate understanding of the step by step model creation, Let's rename the revolution to main body. Now let's add a keystroke in the cube hole, then select the face of the cube, add a new sketch and change its orientation. Based on the origin of the sketch, we draw the shape that the tier to the key will have and apply a relationship, follow up. Next, we quote the width of the key. To quote the height of the key, with the active dimension command, we select the edge of the sketch and the edge of the inner diameter of the hub. Note that the dimension shown is the full height of the tier, but this is not the result we want. To get the desired result, we select the edge of the sketch and now, with the shift key pressed, we select the edge of the cube. We rename the width dimension. Finishing the modeling, we add an extruded cut to obtain the tier of the key. We change the resource name to Chaveta. We finish this class, where we saw how to parameterize a piece in SOLIDWORKS.